For millions of artifacts in the Henry Ford's digital collections, our experts choose three and reveal the surprisingly curious connections between them. A butter churn, a Heinz pickle ad, a photograph of old men on a pier. How do these seemingly different objects connect? They all relate to a versatile ingredient, salt. In early America, farm women turned cream into butter with a churn. This churn was made of a durable, leak-proof pottery called stoneware, shaped on a potter's wheel. For the glaze, the potter threw handfuls of common rock salt into a white-hot kiln during the churn's firing. Salt glaze stoneware pieces were decorated with an amazing array of designs. A visit to the circus must have inspired this churn's decorator. Before refrigerators, people had many ways to keep food from spoiling. Vegetables were often pickled, which began by soaking them in brine or salt water. Although farm women took pride in their pickling skills, this was hot, difficult work. An innovator named H.J. Hines set out to convince housewives to leave this onerous task behind and purchase his products, including this chow chow pickle made from chopped up vegetables and seasonings like mustard seed, cinnamon, and cloves. Although most photographers in the early 1900s were men, a talented woman named Jenny Chandler took this photograph. Over her prolific career, she left an amazing document of daily life. She called the men in these photos old salts, that is, sailors who had spent much of their lives at sea. The term salt referred not only to the ocean's salty water, but also implied wisdom and experience. Phrases like salt of the earth and worth one's salt are still commonly used today. So what do a butter churn, a pickle ad, and a photo of weathered sailors all have in common? Salt. The next time you ask someone to pass the salt at the dinner table, consider the many meanings of this versatile ingredient.